Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chi. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to coil your braids with hot water. But the interesting thing is that I am going to be doing it two different ways to show you how the technique you use in wrapping the hair around your around your rollers is going to affect the the results of your coils so on these two coils i'm going to demonstrate one method and then on these two coils i am going to demonstrate one method just for you to see how long the coils are or how much i have just little hair here and this is the style i am going to be coiling so the things you will be needing for this tutorial are your bendy rollers i have eight of them two on each of these you need to make sure your hair is detangled so you need a brush you need some muse some styling muse 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 you need something to use in dipping your hair to dip the hair in hot water i recommend an item that has a handle so that you don't grab the hot water like this and it should be slender and long so if longer than this but thin that's better i am very very careful I will not recommend this for a beginner though, but it works for me perfectly. And then you need a towel at hand to just drip off the water. You need a scissors to cut this excess stuff off once you are done. So guys, for the first method, I start off by making sure that... I start off by making sure that the hair I am about to coil is properly detangled. Hold the beginning part where you want your coils to start and then hold it against just enough distance here for you to be able to bend and secure your, your coil or the hair when you are done. The first instance is when we will twist this before twisting it round the bendy rollers. So, Hi, Kitty. I will twist, twist this tightly, and then twist around. Twist, twist, twist. Go around. Twist, twist, twist. Go around. You will see the two different outputs. this so make sure you do that well secure the top and also secure the the base so i don't if i am using like a bucket to dip this thing in i can afford to just carelessly roll this thing anyhow i want but because i want i'll be using this cup i need it to fit into here so this is fine for me and now we are going to repeat this again on So guys, we are done with this first section and now over to the second one, I again make sure my hair is detangled, I share it into two. Now this time, we are not going to twist the hair before wrapping it around the flexi rod. So I pick my starting point again, place it against where I want my coils to start and then I just wrap it around but 
but make sure that it is smooth this is going to give me a very loose smells good so your hair is also going to smell good somebody I will definitely be more careful what so oh no woman be I be you I like this last one both of them just went in without giving me problem is oily so this mug just keeps slipping off so don't hold a mug with the slippery hand oh that's hot to see because usually we do not do this we do not do this we do not do this this is not a norm here this is coiling as if you know coil coiling the hair as if you know coil Aww. I feel like combing it out so that it will look like it's like creating waves
that the difference between the two colors it's it's very very obvious i am not going to be using a stylo muse on this because i am not interested in making it last but if this is a hairstyle you are making on yourself you absolutely should i am going to take this off now i just ruined this curl is it that easy to ruin you my dear just like that just like that and you are done damn I don't have to. I'm not wasting my style news on this. So, guys, these are the two different colors. Let me stretch. So, my babies. My lovelies, my dears, these are our four colors, and you can see how they look. Do you know the fun thing about trying a hairstyle on a mannequin and not a human being? You can do whatever you want at the end of the video. So at this point, I am going to just unravel these coins and see if it is going to give a new look. So you absolutely should oil your hand so that you can reduce the freeze on this coin. So, Let me know what you think. <laughs> 